Can food be recycled? Now you might be thinking this. And that sandwich you're eating is made from old discarded sandwiches. But actually, that's not what recycling food means. Food can be recycled when we turn food loss into food for consumption. Food loss happens where customers don't see. That will have been food waste. Food loss can happen in places of production. For example, banana farmers throw away edible bananas that don't look like the standard yellow curved bananas because, well, customers don't want to buy them. Or during transportation, where poor handling spoils the food and cannot be sold. For food loss where ingredients of food that are edible, they are then turned into other food products. Real life examples include unsold vegetable turned into vegetable powder, or even fruits into juice products. Some call this upcycling food. Upcycling is the process of turning something with no value into something with value. And that is how food can be recycled. Should we be vegans? This is a tough question because there is no clear cut answer. The answer changes from viewpoint to viewpoint. Whether you are coming from an animal rights point of view or you are coming from a production point of view. It is also not in Zambert's position to tell you what is right and wrong. We understand that we are a diverse civilization and we all begin from a different circumstance. This means we need to figure out an answer suitable for ourselves. And the way to find your own answer of should I be vegan begins with knowing the facts and base your decision on them. For example, we know that cutting beef from our diets will cut tons of carbon dioxide emissions because of how beef is mass-produced through unsustainable methods. That there is a huge win for the fight against climate change. We also know that there are delicious ways to eat meat alternatives, for example, soy meat. The adventurers will enjoy looking at insect food too. Ultimately, whether we become vegan or not, there are options to be ethical consumers. Will changing my diet reduce global carbon emissions significantly? Well, yes and no. This is one of the questions that seems simple, but there's more to it. The very act of eating has very little carbon emissions. Even say, if you drive to eat out and increase your carbon footprint from the vehicle. Collectively, we may be able to make a small change to carbon emissions through transportation that way. However, putting the decision of what you want to eat back into your own hands is where the true change comes from. By this, I mean the food systems. Our current food systems are unsustainable. For example, the production of food using an obscene amount of water resource. Deforestation and overfishing are problematic. Even transportation uses a gargantuan amount of fossil fuels to run. By changing our diets to choose our favorite food from sustainable sources that use sustainable methods to produce our food, we become the catalyst in shifting the food system to a better one for the environment. So eating by itself doesn't really impact global carbon emissions that much. But by changing your diets, you are telling businesses you want proper food that's healthy not only for you, but also for the earth. And trust me, they want your money. So they will change to be more sustainable and perhaps that, that will accelerate a change in the food system. How should I eat to minimize my impact on the environment? There are several ways and we can look at two categories to do so. Directly, we can choose the type of food we eat. For example, going vegan is one of the best ways to reduce carbon emissions. Even if going vegan is too big a jump, starting to introduce plant-based diets into some of our meals is a good start. We even tried asking ChatGPT to make us a plan to introduce plant-based diets over a month and the plan is pretty solid. Beef currently produces more carbon emissions than other meat, so switching from beef to let's say chicken is better for the environment. 
we also have meat alternatives that are delicious and nutritious. Another category we can minimize our impact on the environment is adjusting our mode of partaking. For example, we can look for cafes or restaurants that get their ingredients from a distance within 80 kilometers, or what we call local production, local consumption. We can look for establishments that even do compost and create a circular system for food. Does being sustainable mean I have to give up my favorite food? Re-examining our food is important, especially for those of us who are making sustainable changes to our diets. So we will feel the impact on our favorite foods to a certain extent, but it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be giving up on your favorite foods. If your love is in beef, yes, reducing your intake will be good for the environment. But what if we can find farmers who use sustainable methods to rear cows without destroying the environment in doing so and uses circular farming in the process? Again, back to our previous point, it's about creating a change in the food systems. The impact on you would then be not about giving up on your favorite food, but looking for businesses that care about your well-being and the environment and still be able to produce the food you enjoy.